Gaseousen thing. We're on to chapter three now. Hmm. So yeah, they were talking about me. I had a little inkling, but yeah. They're born with a sense of our ancestors. We serve survive injustice, blunder, death and sickness and silence. Dare not say a word, but let's seal with hatred. Hmm. His reports are incomplete. Capricorn Division hasn't haven't returned their reports for this week, Auditor. Understand. You may leave. Yes, sir. About time. Keep it short. I shouldn't be talking to you. Did you know about her? Did I know about who? Cut the act, Aaron. Do you expect me to believe that I'm in a hell by pure coincidence? I thought you didn't read people's charts anymore. Don't make this about me. Why is there a howler next to me? Bryce, how do you do? Uh, great! Just pitchy. Aaron, what is this? A girl from what I can see, though you may be alien to that concept. I'm in no mood for jokes, Aaron. E. Pierce is unconscious. She followed me. Need to know if this was your plan. You now our mission is way too important to count on one person's suggestions. But what is your idea? Yes, it was. Damn it, Aaron. What were you thinking? Not the place, not the time to talk about it. Plus, you meet you, Howler. Uh, likewise. Get Evelyn to safety, then find a way to come here. There, as in Nova Station. I'm a male thing now, thanks to your shit intel. How am I supposed to land on Nova Station? Should have been more careful. Told you to be quick. Careful? Scavenger was late. Keto was already enraged when she arrived. Huh. Must be the Howler's influence. Her being late must have changed that chart I read. Interesting. Don't care, Aaron. There's no way I can land on Nova Station now. A resource for Egon. Find a way. Don't use this link again. Don't want the rounds on my trail sooner than we need. Aaron. Okay, so... Okay, so these guys are separate from the white hit dude that way. Um, that's chasing us down. Okay. I thought they may have been like, like those guys were the higher ups and then the white head guy was following their orders or something. But I guess these guys are kind of separate. Okay. Got it. Glad we're on the same page now. Sort of. This is just great. You're going, what does being a hell of mean? Just stay away from me. Oh, what changed? You went to the keen on keeping your distance a few hours ago. You went in a backstabbing hell a few hours ago. Again, don't know what a hell it is, so. Tears just keeps on getting better. Do we have any frog coffee beans left, Kit? Yes, Miss Bryce liked to tea. Like the taste, so I brought some with us. Nice. Hey. Hey, I heard some shouting, but I didn't want to just barge in, you know. How are you holding up? Still in one piece? Eh, yeah, maybe two pieces. I think I might have left my backbone in there. Let me guess, he did the crazy glowing eye thing to you? Yeah, I have no idea. Yikes. Well, there is coffee. A nicely turned and perfectly comfortable shoulder if you would like to crown, just saying. Yeah, I'm on the timeout. Been a bad girl, Carol. 
must face my ju judgment alone. There was a place where you hid on my shoulder, Lana. Uh, sure, somewhere else, maybe. <laughs> Gotta keep my options open, you know. <laughs> Here you go, Miss Lana. I made you some too. Oh, thank you, kid. Professor? Ah, a hot and black salvation. <laughs> like, the cup is literally hot. Okay, what's this one? Um, I cannot read that. It's too small of writing. Thanks, Kit. Professor, I have a question. Shoot. Where exactly are human howlers? Well, there have only been two howlers in recorded galactic history. To my human howler knowledge is not really reliable. But I'll tell you what I know. I know that nothing scares Mori intelligence more than human howlers. System intelligence uses a fetus premonition software to stop crimes preemptively, right? Of course I can catch can't catch every crime, but most largely most large scale crimes are prevented way before they happen. Thanks to a fetter. However, what is if a human howl is involved in such acts? Fetter won't be able to detect it. But fetter human howlers do not exist. So the data cores that involve these people are all corrupted. Cannot be read, cannot be explained. And that's not even the worst part. For the previous human howler case, Ewan Reynolds, it was known that he could change people's charts by influencing them. So, sort of what we were doing with um, Egon over there. You mentioned charts before, what exactly are they? Every person has a planetary chart that a Fedos can uses to calculate their futures through a premonition software. Systems intelligence uses this information to mark people as safe, or PFO upon their births, aka possible future offenders. Right, I know they were under surveillance by the Morian government their entire lives, thought it was not. Well, a human howler has the power to change such a person's chart. They wished they can make these lifelong PFO charts as clean as a whistle, and reverse. They can turn a completely normal citizen with a safe mark chart into a bloodthirsty lunatic. The rumor, uh, rumors are true, of course. <laughs> they should join politics. <laughs> Imagine a howler politician. Do you really give me a headache? Do you know what happened in the previous howlers? Were they killed? First one, I have no idea. Probably died during the Twelve Wars. Second one is... In a very protected cell block. Cell block? Was he arrested because he was a howler? No, not because he was a howler. He was friends with Bruce Palmer. Hmm, okay, so he was involved. That person was involved in all that shit then. What's got a fetter? Palmer and him. He was out to blow it up. Shut down for good. Yeah, that's too bad. Must have been scary for more, are you? No kidding. Hmm, okay. That kind of answers my questions, but yeah. Yes, but you can't touch the hyperdrive, okay? That's off limits. I understand. I will only clean the sides. You know, maybe just clean the med bay. There are half, there's a half dead girl balloon all over my floor. It's a very good idea. I will do that. Okay, what model are you? Never seen you one of you before. I am a 71T prototype. Eh, encouragement or oxybot. However, I was programmed to be honest, so I wouldn't pamper the professor. I was also altered a little in my programming to protect the professor with my life if deemed necessary. Protected with what? Are you armed? I have a metal pen. <laughs> you fucking brought that? <laughs> Of course he's still carrying around the freaking pen. <laughs> uh, God damn it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, pen can be a very dangerous tool if used wisely. That is what I keep telling the professor. He thinks I look ridiculous with a pen. Nonsense. You look exceedingly terrifying, hun. It's just jealous because he looks like a gym doll and nobody talks to him seriously. If I may ask, what is a gym doll? 
Lady Dog's on and off boyfriend. Ah, so it's like a Barbie and Ken, pretty much. They are toys. Ah. Really? I'm being judged by an Oxybot? Hey, how's the engine? Well, it's working. You're in close to the station. Won't give it. Want to give me your sisters a call? Want to give your sisters a call before landing? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's tell them about our emergency guest. Will do. I'll leave out the more identity bits just in case. See, Lana. No, it's too early to talk about this stuff, but what happened after this? I mean, will we be able to just take our money and part ways? Get back to the way things were? Yeah, you might be able to, but I don't think I will. I don't know, Wiz. I can only catch up on what's going on out there. I blame your Melfic boyfriend. Stole a hell of artifact, take a Aegis, soldiers, and gravely injured a, a Pios. Not to mention kidnapping professors and using instant scrapping your skips in the process. We are okay now. Okay now, baby. Mama's here. Oh, you like adventure. What? I thought you liked adventure. No, you like adventure. I just like money. Speaking of which, are you alright? Things got a bit... heated. Back there. I'm fine, we just talked. <laughs> I wouldn't say that was just talking, but... Didn't sound, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's not, it was nothing, I'm fine. He's fine. We're fine. If you say so. Right, we are landing in 10. Let the crazy eyes know we're here, will you? I'd go tell them myself, but I really don't want to. Okay, right. Looks like I'm the only one I can really talk to him, even though he fucking hates my guts. He's gone. What do you want? We'll be landing in 10. You should get ready. Good. Look, I know you don't trust me, but my sister's a good doctor. She's in good hands. Like me, they're really good at their jobs, and they don't completely bluff things up like me. Both graduated from a more university in Silius. With really good grades too, they are proper. Good to know. Okay, I guess we're thinking, keeping things short then? There are no Aegis channels on Pion 5 transmission. Pion 5 is not a mining plant. We don't have any Aegis outposts here. Ironically, Pion 5 is one of the only planets where we can truly be safe. Kind of. How is the next planet, Professor? Yeah, I've heard nuclear waste is really good for your skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those people who have tried it probably wouldn't say otherwise. This is a fancy looking place. Oh, we got a little kid there. Nico, he is coughing. His cough doesn't seem to be coming down, Doctor. Is it because of the surgery? I'm so scared. Hey, Nico, can you tell me about your cough? Does it hurt? Yes, sometimes. My chest hurts when I cough. Does it hurt a lot? Can you breathe well? I can breathe. I, it doesn't hurt a lot, just a little. Are you still taking the medicine we gave you? Yes, it tastes really bad. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? You can take him home, Tessa. Coffee has a common reaction to this type of implant. It just takes a while to adjust to the body. We're gone in a week or so. Try to compress warm towels to his chest, help him with the pain. Oh, thank heavens. Stay strong and gets lots of, lots of rest, Nico. Had a tough surgery, no more than a month ago. I will, thank you. Valerie. Oh, okay, so this is uh, one of his sisters. Lana. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Was told me you go into a fight. Yeah, um, we're fine. Can't say for our peonist, uh, yeah, peon gal that we got here. 
No, I'm fine. It's a friend of ours. He's in emergency care. I'll get there right away. What happened? Well, uh, I think it was pirates. Beat her up badly. Bastards. Give us Raiders a bad name. Does she have any visceral implants? I'll call the implant tech. Probably? I don't know. I don't really know her much. Uh, stay in the waiting room and don't go anywhere. We'll, we will talk when I get back. I can't wait. Whoop. Yes, we got that taken care of. I have to be honest with you, I was half expecting a run down apartment when you say clinic on PM5. This is one of the richest districts in, on in, uh, yeah, whatever that place is. Most of the PM5 elite live here. A lot of districts are closer to PM5. Uh, a lot of districts are closer to the PM5 image you have in mind. Oh, is your family rich, Lana? Sorry, academic habits. We tend to ask all the inappropriate questions. Eh, they're well off. And do your sisters own this clinic? No, it's a free clinic. My sisters are paid by the government. I see. You know, you're one of the few radar planets which still have a democratic go government. I think it's quite impressive. A democracy? More like, yeah, that thing. <laughs> These few people still elect presidents. I guess it's better than being ruled by a glorified toaster. <laughs> First of all, ouch. And second of all, that's only half true. Realms rule the Mori system. Feather doesn't rule anything. The council only uses the machine to make justifiable decisions. That's what you tell yourself, but can you really prove it? You jest, but it is a valid point. Maybe not in an evil, artificial, intelligent kind of way, but we are bound to a fetter one way or another. There you are. How is she? Stable. There was no internal bleeding, oddly, but she had a good beating. Keep her in the ICU tonight, just in case. But is it critical? Well, she's not likely to have an internal bleeding or visceral implant malfunction at this point, but we like to be careful. Many of her implants are prior types, and I can't risk it. Can I see her? No, only first degree relatives are allowed at the moment. I'm her brother. What? Oh, wait. He's not fucking joking about that. Wait, what? They're actually siblings? Uh, well, that definitely complicates things. And man, they must have a very, very complicated uh, relationship. But that kind of makes sense as to why she's trying to save him. But, I mean, <laughs> I honestly thought they were lovers, but... Uh, not anymore! Unless this, this game involves incest. <laughs> okay, um... <clears throat> is it that surprising? Of course. How can we not see it? The resemblance is uncanny. Well, they both look very angry. Must be a family thing. <laughs> I mean, he does have a point. <laughs> we have different mothers. Ah, okay. Right, get your ID confirmed by the registry and follow me. Hey Val, can we skip the ID confirmation part? I'll vouch for him. Out of everyone in this room, I trust you the least. Come on, sister favor. Just how many sister favors have I done for you? Tune you to your punk ass friends with re that registry over the last decade, huh? How many? Please, I promise this is the last time. I uh, hate it when you do this. You know you are allowed, and I'll be monitoring. Only for half an hour. I have other patients in the room. The rest of you had to leave for today. Don't make a crowd in my clinic. Take your friends home. I'll be really happy to see you. 
Samantha is out at a conference, but she'll be back in a week. Will you be staying for a while? I don't know. I don't think so, Val. You know how I feel about home. She would have loved to see you and Wiz. You miss her at home, Lana. Both of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Val. Uh, Eli, where are the organic oranges? Did you check the fridge? I'm not joking. I doubt you keep tabs on your food, Sylvie. Please tell me you didn't eat them all. Don't be ridiculous. I don't even like oranges. Since when? Since you started buying them from the Slaters. That's xenophobic, Eli. Plant nicks of pollution, Sylvie, and nothing against the people, just their food. Mum, I'm home. Oh. Eli, Lana's home. Lana is home. Yeah, what does she want now? Stop being a stubborn mule and get. Come greet your daughter, you grumpy old man. Oh, my baby. Hey, Mum. And you have Wiz too, my baby girls. Hey, Sylvie. And you have a guest. Carol Brooks, a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> oh, how charming. Please come in. Eli. I'm here, I'm here. Father? So, you're still alive. You know me, I just love disappointing you. Oh, don't you two start. Oh, come on in. Don't stand in the hallway. Make some tea. Let me help you. Let me help you, ma'am. Oh my, what a cute oxybot. This way, darling. Well, at least mum is approving. Can't say the same for the old man. You must have hated him at first, Eli. I'm not particularly fond of him now, either. Well, we both had our doubts at first, but I felt really serious about the young man, so we want to give him a chance. Can't believe I was Dana Morian lawyer. Are you sure she wasn't blackmailed? I'm not. Oh, he's quite a gentleman. He even helped us fix our water supply problem. Don't show him poison anymore? Not a spot. You used to shower and poison? It was a greenish brown. Figured it wasn't healthy. I thought you were well off. This is well off. Real wood and everything. Hey, I'm home. Hey, Val, we were just talking about your Morian lawyer boyfriend. Were you now? Hey. Hey. How was your sister? I don't know. She was asleep. She is fine. She just needs a rest. Lana, can we talk? Alone? Uh-oh. Did you spill the beans on what's going on? <laughs> Do we have to? What the hell were you thinking? Bringing an Aegis soldier and an Egon in here? What? Who? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cut the crap. He's way too clean to be an implant junkie. She has a prurian enhanced skeleton. Do you honestly think I'm that stupid? We could even bring these people in here. What are you doing with them? Because please don't tell me you're selling artifacts in a black market again. You are, aren't you? Bit worse put you up to this. Where is she? I'll have a word with her too. Val, stop freaking out. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna probably regret this, but, um. She already knows too much, and so might as well fucking tell her the truth. Maybe in a little trouble, but I can handle it. Knew it. What did you do this time? It's supposed to be an easy deal. We found an artifact. 
Oh no, I told you to stop scavenging. It's too dangerous. These plants are toxic. And part hunters scavenge all over the galaxy. They keep partnering up with these dirty, sketchy, crafty people. I didn't I don't partner up with dirty, sketchy, crafty people. Kyria. Well, technically we never partnered up with him. Lana. I just don't understand. It's not like you need the money. We have family. You only need to ask. Why don't you become a scavenger when you can afford an apartment in Nova Station is beyond me. You know, this is exactly why I left. You don't want to help me. You want to control me. Maybe I don't want to live in a condo in Nova Station. Maybe I don't want anyone else to manage my accounting for me. Maybe I just want my freedom. Dirty, messy, cheap apartment building on Theon. An old and rusty skipper. Yes, my life sucks, but at least it's mine. You sound like a fucking idiot, you know that. Spoiled brat. Do you know how many people are out there starving, waiting for someone to help them? Do you realize how lucky you are? There's so many friends who live in way worse situations, but became really successful despite their rough start in life. That's how we raised you? A spoiled idiot? <sighs> Look, you aren't going to be young forever. You have to figure out your shit now if you want to live like a pseudo bohemian for the rest of your life. I should probably date a Maureen lawyer in hopes of getting married and finding a place for myself on a Mori planet too, then. That what you really think I do? Well, I certainly hope you aren't in love with someone who will look down on you for the rest of your life. Not all Marians are jerks, Lana. Really, Val? So he has never looked at you the way he never would to Morian girl? Never once? Never had to withhold a sense thinking it would offend you? Never had to feel nervous about introducing you as his girlfriend? Never had to have the need to excessively describe his open-mindedness? Not always in their insults, Val. It's in their compliments, too. Or maybe you like being the inspirational story of a poor young girl from the slums. You're an asshole. I don't like you, Val. I hate the shallow praises, trying to cover their barely hidden smirk. I want them to look at me and see me for what I am, not what I represent their seated minds. I'm sick of hearing senators sign with, uh, she is a raider, but... That's pride talking, Lana. We're supposed to be smart, not proud. We're supposed to be more than one adjective or the other. <laughs> so stubborn, my little sister. I love you, Lana. You're pain in the ass, but I love you. Don't get all mushy on me. Oh, well, that meant it better than I expected, but yay! Okay, hopefully she doesn't go rat out on me. Sir, our team couldn't locate Pierce, the mercenary on site. Both of the comms are offline. The casualties? No, but there was evidence of combat. It was the Egon. Sir? If it was anyone else, we wouldn't find a body. Find out everything you can about this wizard chambers. How and why was a ship at the Silurus? Who she associated with? Family, her friends? And get the Prometheus on a trail. Yes, sir. Uh, don't like the sounds of that. I mean that uh, our family is probably going to get involved then. Uh, okay, just cross our fingers that um, our sister isn't going to dope on us, but uh, we'll soon see. Raiders are behind this. This will do nothing but aggravate an already charged sis situation. You requested me, Capricorn? Yes, please have a seat. I'm afraid this will have to be a short conversation. Needed to speak with you before the other rains arrive. How may I help you, sir? You must have noticed that I've been keeping the reports of my division to myself lately. Is there a problem with your depths? 
No, they are quite skilled. But I suspect that we have been receiving missing data for some time now. A little here, a little there, a few batches of code at a time. I want you to investigate this matter, quietly. I'm afraid I'm at a loss. The adepts are missing important data. I need to replace them as soon as possible. I don't think that it's the adepts' fault, Auditor. I believe you know exactly what I mean. You think we have a mole? Whoever that is, I have a strong feeling they are associated with this rogue Egon. The Egon? You mean someone like me? Do not question your loyalty, Auditor. I wouldn't dare. You're a great service to us. It's the reason why I'm giving you this task, in fact. I trust you'll find whoever is stealing the information, and you'll bring them to me. Yes, sir. I do keep this between us. There's no need to alert the other rounds just yet. I will. Thank you. You may leave now. Now, we wait. You had better be correct about your suspicion, Virgo. I do not like accusations without proof. Especially when it is about one of our own. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, well. Oh, we got a nice anime pick there. Can't believe he kept this. Major Ballard and Hannah Fletcher. Darian Space Pirates. I always let you be Hannah, but to be honest, you are more of a majory. Shut up, I was totally a Hannah. How long has it been since we were last home? Long enough to miss it, apparently. I don't miss home, I just missed this. Just sitting here, drinking cheap pee on beer, talking about comics. Why did I take this job, Wiz? Eagle was right. Looking for adventure like a kid. Looking for an excuse to get myself in trouble. Well, that and the money was good. Yeah, but I didn't care about the money, you know. I was ready to turn down the offer, but... It was an Egon, and he was there, just ready to betray Morai. All I could think of was to hide behind his betrayal and stick to Aegis. Make his mission mine for just a second or two. <laughs> God, I love the small things in life, Lana. I don't know about you, but sticking to Aegis is one of, is on top of my small things in life, life list. It's insane. The rush, the adrenaline. I even feel like I was a part of something. Like I was doing something meaningful for once. So you have a bit of a hero complex. Who cares? Everybody has that. You know how I feel about heroes, Wiz. Yeah, yeah, something along the lines of shallow idols mean to memorize the idiot crowds, using unrealistic dreams to feed them with their own stuck-up ideals. But it really doesn't matter why you want to help people. But it is for selfish reasons. Or be it for selfish reasons. Who cares? But at the end of the day, people get the help they need. Maybe the galaxy needs shallow idols meant to memorize the idiot crowds, using re unrealistic dreams to feed them with their own stuck-up ideas from time to time. I don't know, Wiz. Maybe Val was right. Everything I need, I keep asking for more. Maybe I am a selfish brat. Maybe I always have been. Yeah, no. You dropped out of high school to work full-time so you could help me buy Arion. Pretty bad at silver machine, if you ask me. That's not even a word. How do you? How would you know? You didn't finish high school. <laughs> Shut up. You think I appreciate what you've done for me, Lana? Being a scavenger was my dream, not yours. I dragged you into this life. Well, in your defence, I didn't really have anything impressive planned for my life. There you are. Back in your hard art, huh? Busted. Friend and sister is awake, leaving for the clinic. Do you want to join us? Looks like he could use some company. Go? You want to put, want poor Egon to feel lonely and vulnerable? Besides, someone must hold a tranquilizer so if he starts beating her up again. Uh, don't. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. You are terrible. 
Ask him when he is going to pay us, by the way. We still didn't receive the payment for the artifact. Wiz. What? Food isn't free. I wanted to make my cup of noodles. Yeah, I don't think we should be saying all this in front of our sister, but, um, like... Don't need to know anything more than she needs to. But I'll say, yeah, this is going to be awkward. Maybe I shouldn't go in. What? I'm the last person she would want to see right now. Is she restrained? Or she tries to escape? Don't think she can escape, Egon. You made sure of that. Uh, look, she'll be heavy, heavily sedated. She'll probably be happy to see you. Besides, you're the only person she knows here. It's better than nothing. Lana, I... I'm sorry. For what? Back at the ship. I lost control. I was... Scared. Scared? That was your scared face? Thought she was going to die and I took it out on you. Yeah, you did. You're just trying to protect your friend. I'm an intelligence officer. Shouldn't have been so trusting. I see a passive aggressive attack and I raise you, uh, bluff you. No, Lana, I truly am sorry for everything. Eh, yeah, not cool. Prodigy is sent to primary elimination process before I feel comfortable enough to accept it. Which is not any time soon. You are mad at me. Of course I'm mad at you. You hurt me. And you scared me. You tried to infiltrate my brain. Well, you sold me out first. He made me shoot Aegis soldiers. You always made me kill my sister. Mm, that was really on you. Didn't have to go that far. You put my best friend in danger. Made me waste... <laughs> made me waste stripper clothes. <laughs> I mean... That one was kind of on me, but... I wouldn't say I didn't enjoy it. Oh, my friend ship junk. Twice. I almost got my artifacts stolen. You didn't even pay me for it. Well, I would have if you didn't try to get me arrested. Well, I wouldn't have tried to get you arrested if your sister didn't body up with the bluffing Kyrian and threatened my fr best friend. None of this would have happened if you trusted me. Like you wanted to trust me. I could have helped you save your friend without almost killing my sister in the process. I'm supposed to just trust you because you say so. I only met you while you are in the middle of turning against your own people. Stop shouting in my clinic before I kick you both out. You can go see your sister now. Conversation is not over. It's over when I say it's over. What was that? More in way of bonding? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely bonding, alright. Pios. You're not in Mori's space anymore. Don't have to call me that. Eve. <laughs> this is a familiar sight. Somehow, every time I wake up in a hospital, I see your face first. Because it's usually my fault. Yeah, seeing you here makes me feel safe. I'm glad you came. You have to go back to the system, Eve. You can't follow me anymore. <sighs> Straight to the point, my brother. We're just rushing in about to reach something, somewhere, somewhere important. We've been secretly following you, you know, the past couple of years. I've always been answering my calls less and less. I know something was up with you. Secret means with Aaron. I'm guessing you aren't dating him. <laughs> he wishes. He is helping you out with whatever you're planning, isn't he? Eve. 
course he is. Don't worry, I don't have any proof, but it's hard to imagine you breaking the rules without him. Next time, choose a less predictable place than the Trillium Gardens as your secret hideout. Remember how we used to play pretend there? I'd be the villain, you'd be the hero. Aaron would just give us missions and we'd try to complete them in time. I'd always re try to race you again, you against you, but you and your ego and implants. It's funny how things stay the same, huh? Does Vidian know? No, he doesn't. Why? Why didn't you tell him? Are you seriously asking me that? Here's your father, Eve. Elvidians too. Oh. Ah, well. <laughs> this is interesting then. So, Elvidian is our dad. <laughs> well, shit. This makes things even more complicated. <laughs> It's yours too, if I remember correctly. But we've never been well behaved, have we? This is serious, Eve. It's not a game anymore. I noticed. Now it hurts when you pretend to kill me. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you let me help you? There's corruption in the system. I have to be the one to fix it. I'm Aegis for 12, for sake. Oh, is she the mole then? Hmm. Uh oh, which is gonna make things even more complicated. You're up here, Evelyn. You said the system I want to end. You'll try to destroy a feather, won't you? You're following in her steps. I have to. No, no you don't. Don't throw away an oxybot when it's broken. You fix it. This is not an oxybot, Evelyn. Can't be fixed. Really? Did you even try? Give it a thought? Or you just blindly follow, follow Aaron's suggestions? Is there even alpha suggestions to you? Just look around you. Just look at any radar planets. This is what Mori does. This is what we do. They attacked us. It's called payment, Saurian. What are we supposed to do? Pat them on the back for trying? We didn't attack you. We just defended ourselves. You're the scavenger from earlier. Eve, this is Lana. She is the one who helped us get here on time. She is also the sister of your doctor. Oh, thank you for saving my life. Yeah, don't mention it. Don't change the subject. What you said about Raiders and Mori, it's not true. We never attacked you. We just defended ourselves. You started the war. Really? Saurian? Baseless theories are what you're t turning your back against for your own people? Not baseless. We have proof. Tell her, Egon. We have proof. Nana. Give us a minute. But we have proof. Please. Fine, but we have proof. Go back, Evelyn. No, I'm not leaving you. You know what she said is true. Happened years ago. But it is saving lives now. Just how many attacks, how many accidents does it stop? How many lives does it save? How many does it not? I see hundreds, thousands of attack every day, Eve. Do you really think we stop them all? No, but at least we try. No, Eve, we are not. What is that supposed to mean? Do you know why we couldn't prevent the attack on Origin Hall? Yes, a bear a hell artifact. No, they didn't. Nibra never owned a Howler artifact. I saw it with my own eyes, Saurian. Held it in my hands. It wasn't counterfeit. Oh no, it was a real Howler artifact. It just didn't belong to the Libra. It belonged to the intelligence. What? Why would the intelligence help Libra? Are you making fun of me? 
They didn't help Libra. They helped the government. Do you remember talking with a DA called Amber Price? She was in the casualty list. I don't know. I don't remember. Surveying the hallway. She was the target of the intelligence. She was radical and had quite a number of supporters, some of which were rated sympathizers. She started to gain political advantage against the realms, pushing for an electoral, electoral, yeah, whatever that is. So a timely Libra attack did the trick. It could blame the inaction on the Hell artifact and show the galaxy how a Raider sympathizer ironically was killed by Raider terrorists. I guess soldiers died that day. Civilians died that day. Rounds one eager soldiers to die in the explosion, just to fire out the Patriots against Raiders a little further. Do you understand why I have to do it now? Rounds need to lose their power, and the only way to do it is get rid of a fetter. There has to be another way, Soren. Has to be. Losing a fetter won't just hurt the Rounds, it'll hurt every Morian in the galaxy. We're talking about civs, children. I know. That's why you can't follow me, Eve. You can't do what I have to do. If you try to stop me, I love you, but I will have to kill you. Hmm. The plot thickens. On to chapter 4, the Pioneer. We are the casualty. I was bound to the comfort of those, those who live above us. We are the cry in solitude, the scream in silence. Voluntary keepers of the laughters of those unalike. So, that went well, I guess. Nobody died, no hospital fights. Do you need to use a tranquilizer? Uh, Egon, want to have a drink? Face is making me feel depressed. Sorry? Don't worry, my treat. I think we have some Slater ale in the fridge. You know, you're very cheap for an Egon. So I've been told. So, different Melissa, who's the older sibling? I am the older one. But I suppose I'm not very good at being an older brother. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, we occasionally fight my sister too, but none of them have needed surgery before. Too soon? Way too soon. She is stubborn though, I'll give her that. She is tenacious, yes, and exceptionally loyal. She always had the clear vision of things, people. When she loved someone, she didn't just love their better qualities. She loved the hidden, deep, corruption parts of them. All of them. When she had to say her goodbyes, she always left with a kiss. That's the kind of person she is. Do you think she'll ever stop loving Moray? But I wish you could see the truth, understand the severity of the situation. You said you couldn't imagine having any reason to leave the Moray system. Tell me, why do you have, why do I have to choose between the life of my sister and half of the galaxy? Yeah, Moray sucks. Well, at least we agree on something. Moray sucks. Yeah. I'll help you get back to Mor into Moria space. Us ways to work on our cell systems. Get a few new upgrades. Better pilot than I am, so I'll ask her to fly us there. Not promising anything, but a restock of Moria's finest cup noodles should do the trick. Lana, I thank you. No, don't. Don't thank me. You need to speak with your friend about this whole hell business. Besides, you know it's not the right thing to do. Whatever. Right thing to do? No, I mean, I don't know. 
You're right when you call me selfish, Egon. I know I am. I see injustice every day here, you know. I see corruption loud and clear. But I have to look the other way because I'm scared. I'm scared of getting hurt, dying and losing the people I love. Now just keep repeating that PM5 is not worth the effort over and over again, maybe to hide my own fears. Focus on finding adventures somewhere else, somewhere safer. Using someone else's dreams just to feel that sense of belonging. To ease my guilty conscience. Now I'm envious of the people who stand up for what they believe in. Jealous, like you said. So don't thank me, really. I'm useless. I'm just scared. Don't know what I'm doing. I mean, scared is not sh selfish. It's humane, Lana. <laughs> Says you. Says the half computer, half man with a million awesome implants. Lana, I'm scared too. I'm scared of what I have to do. The consequences of my actions. Nope. Stop. That's being concerned. Talking about being scared of sheep bliss of dying, the lame version. Well, I'm not scared of dying, but there are worse things in life than death. Now we're talking. Give me a misery, invincible Mori man. Well, for starters, Nova Station is not as pretty as it looks on the outside. Basically, being an Egon should be a choice. I thought it was a choice. Supposed to be a choice, but not many people can decline the inv invite. Mori society is built on the work works of intelligence. Gravely disrespectful to decline such a grand opportunity. So yes, we are given a choice. Choice to become eagles, or our families down and become outcasts. Our families become outcasts with us. Seeing people get fired over their brother's wife not wanting their children to become eagles. That's bluffing crazy. That's pretty bluffed up. I saw the real stay in power, Lana. Giving people the illusion of choice. Alright, don't change the subject. We were talking about what made you makes you terrified. <sighs> I was hoping you would forget. Never. I love people's misery. Well, if it makes you happy. Remember I was terrified the first time I was brought into the facility. I hate the idea of becoming part of Feta. Not really human, not really machine. The old them completely. I was scared of overusing my newly installed implants, losing my memories, forgetting my family, my sister. Complete memory wipe was uncommon, but not unheard of during the adjustment period. Then there are the surgeries, upgrades, more surgeries for upgrades, and the lessons. Which I've always had a problem with. So in 300 algorithms in minutes of practice. This is into a low performing group more than I could count. Seriously? They made me take an ADHD test, which unfortunately came out negative. I was just very bad at math. I love this. Keep going. Then there was the physical training, which I was surprisingly better at. Getting here a thousand times a day to learn how the human body works, the weak spots, the nerves, learning to use your argumented reflexes. Also particularly shining at any area, but I could use my implants way longer than anyone else. Which ironically is the reason why I'm scared. How so? Egon training is hardliner. There is no doubt. It's tough, but it won't kill you. Being connected to a feather, however, is another subject. There are several missions which almost kill me, and many broken bones. Plenty of wounds bleeding for days. But nothing, nothing can come closer to the pain I experienced the first time I was connected to a feather. I was about 16 when they told me I was ready. I knew I wasn't. I wasn't ready for any of it. None of the kids were. They never are. Sixteen? Isn't that too young? Feather implants won't work properly in the initiation and starts after the brain is fully developed. It needs to be done young, but not young enough to be unprepared. 
Like it was just throw up and pass out within seconds during the initial stop anyways. Maybe they uh, made fun of a little and nicknames were forgotten in a year or so. But the unlucky ones, they don't earn nicknames. They are remembered. Not often, but some of them die. Some of them damage the cerebral links, needing surgeries, more training, or getting sent back home eventually. Which is, for some, even worse than death. I was neither lucky nor unlucky. Terrible Egon Cadet, me, found something that I excelled at. For long time in a cerebral implant usage, coming on a resistant mind. I found that out in the worst possible way during the initial initiation of Feta's software in my brain. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Probably not. Initiation takes a few seconds usually. Hurts, but since it's a short time, you can get away with a few hours of headaches when it's done. That's what, I, what I'd hoped to have. A few hours of headaches. But I had this deep, sharp pain in my temples. Like something was not right. Kind of pain that would make you lose your balance. Ears drumming, eyes getting blurry. Thousands of words of information, all at once, Lana. Fedor wasn't just showing them to me. It invaded my brain with numbers, words, secrets I couldn't understand. Like an endless, high-pitched cry. I wanted it to end. I begged. I prayed. But it didn't. I remember shouting, crying, yelling. I just kept going for I don't know how long. I tried to count seconds. I remember getting to 973. I couldn't after that. Bluff and hell. Learn to push your limits in time. To use a feather for longer periods of time, day by day. But the first time, first time is inhumane. Woke up in the clinic the next day. Remember the pain was still there. I think I had it for about a month after that. Others told me I exceeded their expectations. They were smiling at me. Told me I could be, I should be proud of myself. Apparently, resistant miners wired the initial start to longer than usual. I didn't feel proud. Not one bit. I just wanted to sleep. I want you to have to go through that, Lana. We Egon's aren't completely human. Not really. Having a resistant mind is just another reminder of how close I am to becoming a machine. It scared me the first time I realized that. It still does. Constantly on the edge of losing what I am. Who I am. So celebrate your fears, keep them. It's what makes you you. Uh, need help? No mind scaring you at least twice a day. Just say the word. I play pay the price of being human, ready to go. Being scared is what keeps me alive. That's it? Are there more pleasant ways to feel human? I'm not suggesting anything, but I can think of a few things right now. Ooh. <laughs> well, I mean, we're right near a bed, so... <laughs> oh? Oh, holy shit. Okay, we actually going there. Hell yeah. I mean, maybe, kind of. <laughs> I'm still unsure about this guy, <laughs> because, I mean, he nearly fucking killed us, but... Um, yay, first romance. <laughs> okay, was not expecting to get this to this so quickly, but, um, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. Shit. Ooh, I called it a kiss. Oh, it's called a kiss. Oh, Egon, it's called a kiss. People sometimes do that when they're mutually attracted to each other. Oh, what else do they do when they're mutually attracted to each other? Well, let me show to you. Uh, the, let me show you to the bed. And what, maybe I can show you a few things. I have a list on the bed <laughs> between the sheets. Well, I mean, yeah. Wait, no. What? The 
This is no. No. Mana, this is the worst possible time for this. But how a Melvic. You don't know what kind of effect it's going to have on the galaxy. Yeah, I wasn't planning on inviting the galaxy, Egon. Not saying it wouldn't be kinky. <laughs> you know what I mean. I we'll know that there is a moment that we could both enjoy it very much without talking, and instead, we are talking. <sighs> are you. do you. are you sure? It'd be a little ironic to call you intelligent. Oh, didn't mean to skip through that. Right, that's it. If it starts the apocalypse, you're taking the blame. Oh, we actually... Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> well, <laughs> this escalated quickly. It's your fault. You kissed me first. Well, you flirted with me first. Well, I mean... The game gave me the... Oh, the game gave me an option, so of course I'm gonna fucking take it. <laughs> Maybe because you were giving me the dull eyes. Never gave you any dull eyes. I don't even have dull eyes. He gone. Are you still talking? Twelve. You'll be the end of me. Still be the end of me. Yeah, I'm not going to blur anything out, am I? Because I know you two's not going to like it. You gone? Well, at least it didn't start the apocalypse. Probably. Unless I somehow get pregnant and then, um, I get like a little demon spawn. But anyway, uh, that happened. There you are. You guys are up early. You get what's updating about the, us about the plan. Everyone will definitely need new upgrades. Yeah, thought so too. Rough night. I'd say it was a seven. Seven? Right, maybe an eight. And a half. Eh, fair enough. I miss sleeping on a proper bed. Guest rooms are perfect, Lana. Glad it was up to your standards, Professor. Thank you for letting me use your bot charger, miss. Anytime, Kit. Take with my old contacts about scrap shops that are self engine skipper mods, but we need to leave early. Skippers are no longer in production, so it's not going to be easy finding parts for her. Let's split up. We will cover more ground that way. Good idea. I'll send you all the list. Wait, wait, wait. Me and the Egon have never been on PM5. I don't know about him, but I'll get lost alone. I really don't want to get murdered today. My, it's my good hair day. Right, maybe you two should stay here. No, we'll help. We will. Just choose one. I'll take Yella. Ooh, who we do we get to? Uh, hmm. Do I want to build up some more romance with Carol or go with Egon? Well, I actually want to go with Carol, because we haven't really gotten time with him, so... Yeah, let's go with him. Sorry, uh, Egon, but, um... <laughs> we're gonna dump you and leave you. Come on, Professor, let's go. Yes, ma'am. So, I guess that leaves us. Yes. Just a second, I'll send you the list. Don't worry, I'll download it. My fix is password protect. Initiate cross connection. This is never gonna. Be, this is never gonna be not creepy. Yeah, <laughs> you're saying that. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. But I had to get used to it at some point. Great. What do they call this with Yali for? Prometheus, they're looking for some woman. Say she's been allying with male fix. Melfix, that sounds serious. Oh great, he is still around. Did you say a Melfix? Yeah. Did you get the name? I know, Wiz something. I found her old address. Told them I know no Wiz. Told them I didn't see no Melfix. Still wrecked the place apart, Prometheus bastards. 
Damn, alright, like, liver isn't enough. They are sending their criminals to us now. <sighs> what do you get yourself into, Frisky? Oh, and that's they like, still hunting us down. Maybe I should have let them kill them. Heh, <laughs> so busted, Capricorn is on to you. This isn't a laughing matter, Perseus. No, of course not. Uh, look on the bright side. If you had proof, you already been, you'd have already been arrested. Though, from what I've heard about Capricorn's past, he has more of an execution before arresting type of guy when it comes to traitors. Such comforting thoughts. Get sense help. Isn't he supposed to organize the whole thing? Can't contact Sim right now. They'll be using a feather to track my transmission data. That's why I need your help. But wait, so he's them all? <laughs> well, I think they already, um, already sort of know that he's the, uh, mole, but, um, yeah, it sounds like they got a different plan in mind. Need you to contact the Egon and tell them to meet me at Zuno in 10 capital days. Can't even wink without letting Virgo know about it. I could just picture him eerily watching you sleep. Do you think he knows about the secret meeting? Not a secret as he would like. Not a secret as he would like to be. He is, is the monthly PCS division and debt supervisor data. Who the reports will be satisfactory? Wow, these reports look almost real. Because they are real. You keep forgetting to pick them up. Right, forgetting. Do I have to read all of it? Mark the important parts for you. Never any to dirty to me. Oh great, we're gonna get another sex scene straight after the one we just had. <laughs> just get out. Any news from Pierce? The channel is offline. She is outside the Mori system, sir. What about Prometheus? Prometheus is on the move. They are searching everywhere for Wiz Chambers and their allies on PN5. But we cannot access PN5 civilian identification databases without permission of the PN5 government. They won't cooperate. They got too much to hide. Make an appointment with the DSI. Need the intelligence's help. Yes, sir. Get me on board with PN5 news channel. Need to make sure that people know exactly how dangerous Egon's really are. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. And they're probably going to turn the whole planet against us. Just what we need. Yeah, I'm not looking. Not going to pay you rats for that scrap. Not a problem. Let me know if you find an SSP fan in almost perfect condition. Know what I had to go through to find this beauty? Guessing you ripped off a junior scavenger who got lucky. That son of a pimp earned way more than he deserved. I only brought it because I, I'm a collector myself. Have you seen these coils? Tell me it's not worth it. It's not. I'd rather buy from the slatters. Slatters? You've got to be shitting me. You have a vintage skipper and you install slatter crap into that baby? This business, slatters are cheap. I'm only here because I know you got so good stuff. I can definitely live with a humble f humbler fan. Humbler fan? That fan will break halfway through your takeoff. You can't be a real pl pilot if you don't know how bad Slater scraps are. Actually, Slater for minerals are naturally flexible, which makes them perfectly small and fast cargo ships like skippers. Who the hell are you? Carol Brooks, historian, former professor at Grand Rion University, fashion enthusiast. Right. Look, I'll only take it down to 30. More than that, I'll literally have no profit here. Uh, Alright, it's a deal. I'm taking spare axles for free. Fine, I want to get rid of them anyway. Okay, well, yay, we got a fan. No, I had no idea Slater Meadows were flexible. I'm impressed, Professor. Actually, I made it 
made it up about say four miles. No one's even started the planet. However, I do know a thing or two about shopping. <laughs> now I'm even more impressed. I can't help it. I'm an impressive man. Let's go. We still got a few more places to go. I hope Wizards had a good luck bargaining too. Well, we'll soon find out. Uh oh. Uh, probably gonna get some bad news on that screen. Right, this should be all. Call Wizard. Oh uh, no, here we go. During the search on Xeon 3, North Ragon, Ragon, some of the local rebelled against Aegis Force for their alleged use of power. While the leader of the Actors Separationist group called the True Theorons have been arrested, many of the core members have escaped. Investigation of the attack on PM5, Jodin continues. At least 24 people were killed in Tower Acre Mall explosion. Nearly 120 were wounded. Attack was linked to the terrorist group Libera during the investigation conducted by the Prometheus 3rd Division. Prometheus Section Chief apologized on behalf of the police task force failure to protect PM5 citizens, offering his condolences to the Green families of the victims. Another significant development in the search for missing Moray officer First Pierce, Evelyn Delaney. While searching for the first officer continues on many radar and Moray planets, it's been hinted that Rogue Egon and a local may be involved in the case. Uh oh. Now that she is her face is everywhere. Uh fuck. Prometheus Second Division has doubled the patrol and tightened security at the spaceports, taking the necessary precautions. However, the PM5 government has declared it has no intention of cooperating with the Aegis in giving them the identification data of possible suspects. Our job is to protect our civilians', civilians privacy. privacy. Prometheus will be assisting Aegis military with their search for the, their terrorists. However, we will not be exchanging prior identification data. Prime Minister Carson Wolf explained. Second videos of Moray military Agus, Robert Vance Delancey, has advised Raider citizens to use caution. Egon is the smart, strong, and stealthy agents of the Moray system. We recognize them from the amount of implants they will have installed on their bodies and faces. We advise civilian, Raider civilians to stay clear of such suspicious individuals. Let the authorities know as soon as possible. Uh oh. Smart, strong, and stealthy. Much as they are admiring him. Probably are. Where's are my people who are stronger than them? Do you have my people who are stronger than you? Just asking for a friend. Ooh. Um, totally. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna romance him now? Fuck yeah. I wonder what will happen if we actually successfully romance everybody. <laughs> Uh, probably not going to be good, but, I mean, we've got more pressing matters on our hands than who's fucking who. But anyway. But yeah, I love muscles. Six-pack, broad shoulders, and all that jazz. You know, I happen to have all three. What are the odds? Come on, we need to get out of here. They were working together with the Prometheus. It's only a matter of time before they find us. How long do you think they, we can hide? A few days at most. Wiz needs to install the mods fast. I'll try a um, mechanic utility software upgrade for Kit tomorrow. Maybe she can help. Thanks, Carol. Hey, anything to stay alive? Yeah, which I don't think we'll be staying alive for long. But there's hope that we can get the fuck out of there. I suppose your men can't handle this. Not without some kind of leverage for, over the government, no. You know, I can't give you another Egon, Vidians. My people are, are of great importance to the system. I only need your help reaching the PM5 identification databases, that's all. You say identification databases like it's just a password protected program waiting to be cracked open. You could use a feather. I start another war like the Raiders. Do I have to remind you that the Egon was your responsibility? 
I told you, I didn't want him when you brought him to me. He had those eyes, rebellious, too much like his mother's. His chart was clean. Charts can be tampered with, eyes cannot. I don't know whether you, I find it ironic that you do not trust the very machine that is the base of your division. And the director of systems intelligent, Vidians. Not trusting my job, I am sure Feta isn't taking it personally. <sighs> but you are correct, Egon was my responsibility. He is a reckless boy, it's his greatest weakness. But it is also his greatest strength, it makes him unpredictable. Can't catch him while he is on the defensive. You need to attack him. Then he will make a mistake. I will tell the planetary divisions to keep an eye on all of Marius Coes. Catch a glance of his next move, but will be the first ones to know. Are you having second thoughts? No, this is bigger than me or him. He will pay for his crimes. Can't get the civilians' IDs for you. But I may be able to find some dirt on PN Fire's governments. Something we can use for leverage. I appreciate it. Fidians, before I go, what do you know about the new Howler? Nothing of value so far, I'm afraid. Don't you think this Howler's arrival is very timely? Predator 12 is that Egon has nothing to do with the Howler, Director. Don't want another Palmer case. I don't th think prayer is going to do us any good at this point. Hmm. Yeah. Shit is definitely going to be going down at some point. Kit, hand me the hex driver. Yes, miss. Thanks for the upgrade, Carol. Kit's a great help. I'm feeling I was rooted off. Nevertheless, I'm happy to help. Okay, well, that's good. They're still working on that. No, it's too dangerous. We can't pass the Vanerath way. Well, officially out of ideas, which is surprising, because I'm usually full of them. Look, we can, can go to Diana like we planned and take a shell to the station from there. How are you planning to, on buying the permits? A forged identity? No, it wouldn't work. You need to steal them at the port. Can't believe you... Supposed to be the respectable one. You got a priority call. Saren, directing the call to the ship. Hey, I caught the traitor. Ah, shut down the comms channels now. David tried to disconnect. I've already locked your down your remote connection. You have nowhere to hide. Oh, what's going on? Hit a run. Just do as I say. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh wait, these two know each other? How? Why? Long story, I have news from a mutual friend on Rayon Station. Aaron? Very same, but before any of that, what the hell are you wearing? It's hideous. It's great as fashion, don't judge. Very exotic. Ah, uh, should I still shut down the comm channels? Where's Aaron? Why did... What did you do to him? Relax, I'm on your side, Twelves. So much tension. Aaron is fine, mostly. Capricorn and Virgo are after him, so you won't be picking out your, up your calls anytime soon. We will join you at Zuno Luminous Terminal in ten days. Send you the cords now. Great. Don't have any proof yet. I'll be doing my best to keep them off of your bestie's tail, but I'm not exactly safe either. Just keep my bestie safe and we're even. Right. Right. Don't let Capricorn get suspicious. He is. I know what Capricorn is, Egon. I work with him. I said. I said, don't worry. Carol? You look good. Of course I, of course I do. This is your Marag Kagami, newest collection, not out in public yet. Uh, explain your political power again. But everyone else is doing it too. 
Listen, I have to go now, but do take care of yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid, like suddenly feeling brave. I know this is all very exciting for you, but keep your wits about you. Let me see, and I'll kill you if you die before me. Yes, ma'am. And you must be the Raider Girl. You're shorter than expected. Hey. Alright, stay alive, you, you all. PC is out. Yeah. So, I guess we have our orders. It's Una, huh? We are paying to get there. Here is full of pirates. Better than Nova Station. A little better. Let's hope your new bods are useful. You and me both. Check out wi how Wiz is doing. Don't break anything. So, Pieces is the friend you, who helped you escape? Technically, she asked Aaron for help, but yes, that's yes, her. She's my childhood best friend. I know Rayon on the inside is quite smart, Carol. What? No, definitely not. Don't have her on the inside. Just leave her out of this. She has done enough. You know, I worked with her once, when she was still an Egon. No offence, but I'm glad she's not taking field jobs anymore. What did she do? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know. You do not. Were you also a random candidate back in the system? No, the director would die before she let, let me become a Rayon. Why not? I was never a good student of hers. I doubt PCs was a good student either, but bet she flunked a lot. We don't have grades, we have missions. So you failed your missions? Quite often, yes. Really? Why? I knew loyalty towards the Mario system. No morals to keep me grounded, no affections to keep me concerned enough. Besides, there is no going back once you are Rayon. Not like they can demote you. No, it just execute you instead. Yeah, that's rough. To be honest, I'm glad I'm mediocre Egon at best. I make a terrible Rayon. Common sense is not that hard a concept to grasp, you know? I don't know what common sense is anymore. Make a fair search. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Fair is not a Z net search engine. Can't you just use it to search for things online, Carol? Really? Kind of a waste. I wonder what kind of freakish shit teenage Egon would find in the search for porn, porn in the database. You don't want to know. <laughs> so you've looked. Oh, that's just. Now I have to know. Scientific research? <laughs> sure, we'll go with the scientific research. <laughs> I mean, he was definitely researching me uh, earlier, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, but only family members are allowed at this time. Look, it would only take a minute. I'm not in the mood for a long chat either. That's for the rules. It, there is nothing I can do. Please come back during visiting hours. It's okay, I called him. But I won't let the doc. Well, I won't tell the doc, I promise. Hi. Please. Uh, okay, for a few minutes. I can't lose my job over this. Thank you, Haley. Haley, was it? Uh, yes, you remembered. Of course I did. I'll leave you be. Please don't take too long. She is into you. Are you sure Agus is involved? Yeah, they're working with the Prometheus. Agus doesn't work with the Prometheus. Force PM5 government to sign the extent sanction. Told you that he already taken over that the case. Is it rapidly heading towards a political shitstorm? You have no idea. Anyway, she said you'd pay if I heard anything, so here is your news. Could have just used the Viet oh, damn it, I didn't mean to click that. Need more time before Agus finds me. What do you fancy, princess? That's all. I'll take my money and leave now. Wait. Yeah. I need your help. Here we go. Are you going to arrest your friends? 
Now we get to my brother. Maybe that's a good idea, you know. Again, your brother hasn't been very healthy for you so far. 10k fixed. No questions asked. Angus has a numerous transaction service I can use. Do whatever you want with it. Uh, I literally just landed here. 15k. Need a new gun too. 17k, my last offer. I am more in him in with that kind of money. Professional. Fine, fine. How can I say no to the only friend I've had in the whole galaxy? I am not your friend. Well, you should be. I'm an amazing person. Yeah, you can just ask Lana. I'm sure she'll... Uh, vouch for you. This is just a job. If you say so, princess. Stop calling me that. Miss you too, princess. <laughs> well, it's kind of annoying. But, uh, great. How's it going? Almost done with the second one. I'll be... I need more time for the flight engines. You think I can help you with? The spaceport bodies won't be able to hide mu us much longer. Nah, I've got it covered. I'll be quick. Besides, they owe me for that extraction job we did a few years ago. Alright. So, you're an eagle to that thing now? What? Where did that come from? Thin walls. That come from thin walls. Uninvited. In the middle of the night. Ah, sorry. Yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah, awkward, okay. But no, we're not together, no. One time thing? Eh, for now. Don't have time for more, Wiz. At least not now. To be honest, I'm just glad you had some fun at last. That I certainly did. Prodigal. It's Valerie. Ah, oh, shit. Val, what's up? Lana, it's the Prometheus. You have to leave. Now. Val? Valerie? Bluff it. What's going on? The Prometheus. They're home. Lana, no, I know what you're thinking. If you go back home, it'll only make things worse. If I don't go back there, they'll take Val in. She just told me to bail and grid. My fault. I should have never brought us home. Actually, you can't go back without proof. Can't hold her in for long. Can you bet her life on it? So my sister is. This is Valerie. Shit. Preach the most and get them to Zuno. Serious? I'll get Prometheus off our backs. Not a guy. Gotta be kidding me. I'll call you in for questioning. You know, you and I know what that means. Oh yes, I know the captain. Well, let me go. I don't like this. What am I supposed to tell the rebel squad here? Tell them I have a thing I need to take care of. I'll meet them at the destination as soon as possible. And they'll be fine with it? Yeah, they will. They don't care about me. They don't care about any of us. I'll be too busy for a rescue mission, trust me. Not fine with it. Don't worry about me. I'll be right back. I promise. Yeah, I do think that's gonna happen. We don't have any visitors for months, Captain. I don't know what you're talking about. To us in trouble, Eli. I'll do my best. But Agus is holding out a leash on this one. Girls are innocent. They have nothing to do with the Mori Terrace. They went Lana, so he... They know it'll be hard to make a believable case with Wizard's clean record. I guess just needs a scapegoat for the failure. They'll use Lana's records for that. You know they how they work here on 5, Doc? She was a teenager. It's all past her. Stole a Prometheus... Arab, I can crush it into the Department of Finance when she was 15, Sylvie. Even if it is, it's her past. It's not her past criminal record. I can very well use it as an excuse to declare a separatist. Wasting your time here, Captain. 
It's nothing to do with us. I remember seeing flaring the scene, fleeing the scene of the serious incident the day it happened. She belongs to your daughters. The scavengers, they're so unbelievable that they deal with smugglers. Just here to ask a few questions, Doctor. Oh, you again? Some things never change. For a long time, little Bryce. See, so you haven't changed at all. You look older. Tactful as always. If you're here to pick me up personally, things must be as serious at the station. I'm accused of this time. Collabor collaboration with a male hook. Stealing a hell of an artifact. Spirit spying with a wanted criminal against a Mori system. Well, I moved up in the crime world. Guess you want me to come to the preset with you? Answer your questions. Send that behind bars for a show because you before you let me out after a heartfelt lecture. You're always my smartest criminal. But because you only cash idiots. Ah, shit, we got company. It's okay, we'll take him from here. Thank you, Captain. Who are you? Sergeant Chris Jensen of the Aegis Military, 6th Regiment, ma'am, taking over this case. You have no jurisdiction over the Peon Fire citizens. Who are you doing the questioning, Sergeant? On the 7AE conduct, we have authorization to take over any case regarding Malefix and their accomplices. It's considered a galactic threat, Captain. You don't have the extent of sanction. Oh, but we do. The government just signed the authorization file. Ah, shit. What does that mean? The government just gave them full control over your case. Wait, what? So my hands, Bryce. Sorry. Now, if I may. No, you can't take her. She's a peon vice citizen. Stand back, sir. I will not warn you twice. Sergeant, I'll come back with you. Stop throwing my family, please. Sergeant, stand down. We do not want a political disaster. Acting on as an accessory to the conspiracy against Ebos Nebula. Cropping with a male thing concerning evidence of the rogue Egon's involvement personally possibly keeping a stolen howler artifact. He's all crimes punishable by death. So is assisting a criminal captain. Don't test me. Come with you. Please leave my family out of this. How oh, noble. No, you're not going anywhere. I'm calling my lawyer. I don't have time for this. Oh. What? What have you done? What have you done?